universe was filled with a plasma of electrons, photons, and nuclei. The different colors represent slightly different temperatures in this plasma. While this picture gives the impression of the universe being chaotic, the variation from the warmest part, shown in red, to the coolest part, shown in blue, is less than one part in 10,000. Everywhere in the universe, light started traveling freely at very nearly the same time. Photons reaching us today from this mixture have been traveling to us from a sphere centered around us. To help visualize it, we are only going to show a two-dimensional slice. Everything we see in the universe today through telescopes had to be created within this sphere. We call this the edge of the observable universe. Nothing outside it is visible to us. We are only going to show half the sphere, so we can watch the progress of a photon toward Planck, which will be in the center of our frame. The expansion of space increases the size of the observable universe. Even though photons started traveling freely 13.68 billion years ago, the edge of the observable universe is currently 46 billion light years away. To fit nearly the entire history of the universe into less than a minute, we will have 3 billion years elapse in just 3 seconds. To fit the entire observable universe on the screen, the distance from the left edge of the video to the right is 100 billion light years. Because the scales are so large, the photon will appear to be moving very slowly. Ready? Let's start. The blue arrow indicates the distance the photon has to travel until it reaches Planck. This number is a little misleading as it only counts the amount of distance currently between the photon and Planck. The photon has to travel through this distance and any new space created by the expansion of the universe between it and Planck. The green arrow indicates the distance the photon has traveled. Although the photon started a mere 36 million light years away from Planck, the distance the photon has traveled is a lot bigger. We see that most of the distance the photon has traveled is not the original 36 million light years, but additional space created by the universe expanding. Our photon was emitted when it was only 36 million light years away from Planck. When the photon finally made it to Planck, it had traveled a grand total of 13.68 billion light years. About 99.8% of this distance traveled was from space created between the photon and Planck by the expansion of the universe. The surface that marks the edge of the observable universe today also started only 36 million light years away. Even more space was created between Planck and the edge of the observable universe. After 13.68 billion years, the edge of the observable universe is 46 billion light years away.